So in this movie, I'm going to show you how to uh, begin using Logger Pro. We're going to start just by entering our data in. And that's your homework for tonight. We did the Incline Glider Lab in class, and you watched a movie, and you recorded some data with the time in frames and the position in centimeters for a glider moving up and down uh, an inclined air track. Uh, when you open up the Logger Pro software, the first thing you're going to notice is that the uh, is that there's a graph on the first page. And when we turn in graphs in class, there's not a graph and a data table on the same page. There's not a data table with a graph on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this graph. You can either press delete on your keyboard, or if you go to the edit menu and select delete, then that graph will go away. Then you can take this data table, and when you click on the data table, these little, oops, these little handles show up. And if you can grab one of these handles, you can stretch that data table out so it fills up the whole window. And now you can see that we have X and Y for our data. That's going to turn into our time and our position. So we want to change X to say time and we want to change Y to say position. You'll notice that it says double click for column options. One of the things about the Logger Pro software is uh, pretty much anytime you want to do something, if you double click, it'll give you some set of options that you can that you can use and have to change the things that you're looking at. So if I want to change the X to time, then I double click on that X column and now I can change the column name to time. Short name can be T and the units will be seconds. Nope, the units will be frames because that's what we used in our movie. And then I can generate the value. So with our independent variables, the, the numbers change fairly regularly. So a lot of times what we can do is we can click generate values here in this box. I want numerical values. I'm going to start at zero and my highest data value is 174. And I'm going to step up with increments of six frames. And then it will fill in my data table for me. I'm going to kind of stretch this out a little bit so you can read what it says. Next, I want to change the Y value to be the position in centimeters. So again, I'll double click on the Y and rename that to position. The short name will be X. The units will be centimeters. I can't generate values this time. These are the numbers that I got off the movie, and so I need to type these in myself. So it's going to be a minute or so. Um, you can grab a snack or something. Or you can just scroll ahead while I put all these data points in. And there is my data. Oops, I see that I missed two there. So now my data is into Logger Pro. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to save the file just in case the computer crashes or something. So I'll press save. And I'm going to call this Incline Glider. And I'm not going to save it in Matt stuff. Just save it on my desktop. Just save it someplace where you know you'll find it. And now what we need to do is we need to change time in frames to time in seconds. So frames is just not a very practical uh, unit for time measurement. So we're going to convert this to seconds. In class today, we, we, I showed you how to use our unit converting method to change the frames to seconds. And essentially, it comes down to we're just going to take the time in frames, multiply it by a fraction that is one second over 30 frames, and get our answer in seconds. Uh, you don't put units in Logger Pro. So all we're going to do then is just use the numbers part of the fraction without the units in it. To do this, we need another column here. So if you go to the data menu, there's these two choices here that tell you um, you can add a manual column or a calculated column. We're going to add a calculated column. The manual columns are what we just did, uh, where you type the numbers in yourself. A calculated column is something where the software produces something from the data that you already have in. So I'm going to hit new calculated column. The column is going to be time. If I type in time the same way that I had up over here, then the software won't let me do it because it won't let you have two columns that have the same name. But it 
treats lowercase and uppercase letters differently. So I can spell time with a capital T, and that will work just fine. Short name and the units can be repeated. It doesn't, uh, Logger Pro doesn't worry about that. So now I have time in seconds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this time column, every number that's in this time column, I want to divide by 30 to get from frames to seconds. So right here is a list of all the different columns I have. I only have two. So I'm going to take this time column, and then I'm going to divide by 30, and then hit OK. And now you can see that I have another column of time that has the times written in uh, that has have the times in seconds instead of frames. One thing I'm going to show you right now is I don't like all these decimals here. You, you can see I only have one decimal in all of these all of these values. So I'm going to double click on this column. If I come over here to column options, I can change a couple things. One, I can change the kind of point protector I use there. I won't, won't worry about that too much. I usually use empty circle. But I'm going to change the color to black. You can't see that because it's off the screen. Sorry about that. Uh, and then I'm going to change the displayed precision. I want decimal places, but if, you, if I take a look, all of my decimal places, there's only one decimal place in all those numbers. So I'm going to change that to one and hit done, and you'll see how that changes my column there. Just to make it all look the same, I'm going to change this also to black. There you go. So now I've got time in frames, position in centimeters, time in seconds. I need one more column tonight for homework, and that is uh, a time squared column. So I'm going to take, I want this column, I want to square the values in there. So again, I'm going to go to the data menu, new calculated column, because I want to calculate it from a different um, from a different column in my data table. I'm going to call this time squared. And then for the squared, I can go over here to this little pull-down menu, pick superscript 2, and that is time squared. Short name will be T, again, superscript 2 for time squared. And the units for time squared will be seconds squared, so the superscript 2. For the expression, I'm going to pick the variable time. Now, Keep in mind, I have two times here. One, the lowercase time that had the time in frames, and the uppercase time that has the time in seconds. I want to use the one that's in seconds. Time. Uh, the, to square, you can put, you know, you can put an asterisk, and then choose the time column again. That will work. Or, let me backspace over that. Or if you hit Shift Six, that's the caret symbol. That's raised to the exponent or raised to the power of, and then I'll put a two for time squared. And then for my options, it likes red, I like black, and we should be done. Except again, there's three decimal places. I kind of don't see a need for three decimal places when a two would do two would do fine. So I'm going to take this, the column options, display position, two decimal places, and then be done. And then I'll save. And that is the data that I have entered in so far.